Hello and welcome back to another video on the Auto.Youtube YouTube channel. My name is George, but before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all of the latest videos. Now then, this video is going to be all about the rocket cover gasket found in your engine. Now we're going to be talking about how you can tell if yours has failed, why it does fail and what it actually does for your engine. So then, let's get working on the car and let's take a closer look. Okay, so here we can see we have an engine, of course. Now, this thing here, this is the rocker cover itself. Now, if we take a look down here, we can see we have a gasket. Now, this is the rocker cover gasket. It runs the entire perimeter of the rocker cover. And the main reason for this gasket is to seal the rocker cover to the engine's cylinder head. Now there is also an internal gasket which is designed to keep the oil away from the spark plugs so that runs on the inside here around these tubes. So then there is in fact two ways that the rocker cover gasket can fail. So obviously it can leak oil on the outside of the engine like this one has been. You can see some oil is seeping through there and it can leak on the inside down into the spark plug tubes. If we take a look down here we can see the spark plugs. If you have oil leaking down on the inside down to your spark plugs it may cause some rough running problems and you may experience a misfire now if you can't visually see that you have a leak coming from your rocker cover like we do here you may actually be able to smell it for example if you have oil leaking from the rocker cover down onto a hot exhaust you may then be able to smell that on the inside of the car in the cabin now what we'll do is remove the rocker cover itself and take a look what is underneath okay then so as you can see we now have the rocker cover removed we can see the internals of the top of the engine so we have the camshafts and we have the valves down here now everything looks relatively good, everything could just do with a good clean up, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And obviously we will be removing the original gaskets and replacing them for the nice new ones. And now then it's time to install our new gasket. So I'm just going to be careful dropping this over, I don't want to particularly bend it if I don't need to. I'm just going to line it up with the dowels. Okay then, so here is how we are looking now. We have the fresh new gaskets in place, seated correctly. There is typically, usually, dowels to help you locate the gasket in the correct orientation. Everything seated nicely and everything nice and clean now. It's time to reinstall the rocker cover. And now it's time to reinstall the rocker cover then, after I've given it a good clean now then the rocker cover is now reinstalled the main thing to check for when reinstalling the rocker cover is not to pinch anything between the rocker cover and the gaskets like any cables as you can see we have all of the cables and electrical connectors way out of the way and i would advise doing that just to prevent you know trapping anything in between the rocker cover and the gasket like i said but we all appear to be seated okay. The gasket is still in its correct position. So it's now time to start installing some new bolts. Okay, so now we have all of our new bolts in position. I'm just gonna go ahead and nip them down and then we will start the torquing sequence. Okay, so when it comes to torquing down the bolts then, essentially you want to start in the middle and then spiral outwards obviously we have three bolts in the middle so we want to do them first and then we will alternate either side and work our way outwards until obviously all of them are torqued down now they need to be torqued down to seven newton meters which obviously is not a lot and then you have to wait around 30 minutes or so just for just for them to settle essentially uh, and then you, what you want to do is another 90 degree turn then you will have your final torque setting then so yeah, like I said, we will start in the middle on the first bolt. I'm going to talk down to seven newton meters. There we go then. That is all 22 bolts torqued down to seven newton meters. 
Now in theory I have to wait 30 minutes or so just so they can settle and then I'll go back and re them all again another 90 degrees. Okay then so now that all of the bolts have been taught down to the correct specification it's now time to start reinstalling everything back like the wiring harness like the ignition coils and everything else that goes with it. Okay then so I've actually reassembled everything that I believe I need to to get the engine started. Obviously I want to try and fire it up make sure it does fire up you know make sure I haven't left any earth connections unplugged um, and just make sure there's no leaks first and foremost um, so yeah I'm not going to put the cowling back until I know that it runs and I know that I have no leaks so yeah moment of truth coming up and because the engine fired up with no issues as you can see everything is now put back together and this is the rocker cover gasket on this engine now replaced and if we take a look down at the gasket itself, we can see we have no oil leaking. So this is a successful job completed. Okay then, so I hope you all have found this video helpful. I hope you've learned something new today. If of course you have not already, make sure you go hit that subscribe button. Remember to give this video a like. Leave a comment down below, of course, if you have any questions. And we'll see you all very soon in that next video.